thank uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. This is Front Row Geeks. My name is Faye Tess. Thank, uh, the uh, person thank you everyone who for tuning in. Halfway almost jumped Geeks. in on that. My name uh, was Asher. Yo. And joining us in the background, eventually probably popping in and saying something wise and random, will be MPX. And I'm watching something about dragon whales. Dragon whales? Dragon whales. Are you actually not subbed to our own channel? No, I don't have Prime. Oh. Monster, build, evolve. Chimera Land. Chimera Land. All right, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, obviously, new game. Uh, we'll have vibration on. You know, I just realized the three words that they use to describe sounds like something that they would be using just simply to uh, game the algorithm. Oh, there's a way to turn off random battles? That's hilarious. That's weird, because the mm -hmm. battle, you can all see the battle, so you can just kind of jank around them. And Why? I'm Wait, that's a feature in this one? Well, it's... Well, um... Oops. I said I was going to keep because... it as default. Uh, the yep. reason why it's a feature in this one is because of the fact that uh, in the original there was no proper level. Things were kind of gated based off of um, where things were, uh, like what part of the story or who you had defeated kind of thing. Okay, so we're zooming in on what looks like a reactor. This looks like the sector... Oh, never mind. There's a bunch of dragons. So it's something else. It's a temple. It's a tower. I know where that is, and I'm not going to say, because I've got to that point. Okay. We're, right, in, right, right, right. we're in media res right now. Well, of course. Also, who, did you, who did you get for your partners? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, I presume uh, we're I've only got the watching. main girl and a fish person. Ah. I've got kid. Oh, Irenas. What Irene? is it, Herr Serge? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi, come on, Serge, Irenas. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. You know. Not that it'll do you any good. <laughs> you're probably gonna enjoy this game for all the accents. Herr Serge. That, I don't know like, why I, the mermaid is is um a, is, has German. 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 German's a little weird to me, but you know. Oh well, that's the wrong way. I, I'm just mentioning the fact is that it's like in the original PlayStation one, I uh, like your third party member is supposed to be random. Well, I mean, this does appear based on my test previously. This does appear to be random because oh. I got a different third care a different third character when I did my test. I don't remember when I started. Was. Yeah, when I started the game, I got Irene. What is that? But, uh, crystal lighting. Some kind of switch. Bugger! So close and yet so far. I'm sorry that that if for anyone watching from Australia, I apologize profusely. Kid uh, is Australian. Bobby. Irene's is German. Serge is silent protagonist. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, let's see what's over here. Oh, I can't get up there. I have to go a different way to get up there. Okay. Um. Let's go beat this up. Oh god. That's one hell of a way to attack. Take off your arm and beat someone with it. Oh yeah, the uh, the, the, the golems. Or whatever the heck they were. Uh, Cybots, apparently. Cybots, yeah. Oh my god, she's a spoony bard. Uh, 
Ah, right. She uses harps. Serge uses a swallow, which I'm very much a fan of. Uh, look, Kid is single dagger, looks like. Uh, yeah. She, Kid uses daggers. Well, it's just a single. It's dagger, not daggers, in this case. Which is depressing. Well, it's uh, weird ooh, because, Kid, like... Kid uh, got an HP up. Nice. Uh, max without consumable. I love the end of battle auto heal. That that does make me happy. That one is new and I like it. Uh, is it? Because I seem to remember it from the original. I think it was. Uh, I think they had something similar, but it was. It would use uh, like if you used auto heal, it would just take consumables first. Oh. Whereas this one, they added in the feature of. Do not use consumables. I, I could have sworn it gave me the option. I don't know. We're, we're talking literally two plus, two decades and change ago. Yeah. Oh, it's down here. Um, there's a door there. There's a bat there. There's nothing there. Okay. If the bat's not going to attack me, then I'll go in that door. I'm in exploration mode. Oh, that's a dead end. Yay. I love dead ends. So we'll go here. All right, more side bombs. I'm noticing that while they, we obviously do have some elements, because we have the end of combat healing off of elements, uh, we don't yeah. have any elements actually in combat yet. Do... Have you not gone in the med? What? Remember, you have to ga uh, gain enough attacks oh. to start using elements. Oh. And I you've do. just been killing things super fast. Yay! Playing around with elements. Meter shower, go. How's this for a first touch and get a spell? Meteor shower plus one. <laughs> and we use a cure plus to heal up, and now we're back to. Although I, I feel like maybe I should go this way first. Oh, the bat wants to play. That's right, that's what the level gauge is about. I forgot about that. Just trying to give you some reminders on how to play this game. <laughs> No, like when I tried play uh, Starian and Magma Bomb, I got Irene too. Uh, Irene. So. Oh, that wasn't as effective as I was hoping for. Uh, these are yellow, which I think they're actually the. Oh wait, are you talking the bats or? Yeah, the bats. Bats are black, I believe, so they're weak against white. Oh yeah, no, they are. I just saw the the element. I just, just happened to see where it was. Yeah. We're talking about stuff that they haven't fully explained yet. <laughs> I mean, as you do. Okay, so this should have been where that switch was, right? Yeah, okay. All right. okay so let's see.
Well, I deactivated it. Dang it, I just remembered. I can't. Uh, Asher, can you hop over to my channel really quick and do a host? Uh. Onto your channel? Uh, from my channel onto FRG. Ah. Uh. Oi, what the bloody hell just happened? Wait, what are we doing now here? I mean, like, I am on your channel, but, uh, I don't have access. You should, you're a mod. Wow, bugger. What's so high up? Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor right just now? This show is some fault. Air search? Hmm? You're right, mate. You've been acting all weird. We don't know what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, eh? All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and do it real quick. I'm trying to get used to the mod view. I just always use slash commands. Oh. Slash. There we go. Oh. Got it. Okay. okay. Oh wait, now now I'm on the wrong tab. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm guessing you okay. can't save anywhere. Yeah, you just need a save point. That's a great vision, seeing Kid dead. Man, I'm dead. holding a bloody knife. And smirking. Yep. This will make sense. I know. I've gotten far enough that I know what that is. I'm just playing it up for the I'm playing it up for the stream. Sedge. Good morning, Sedge. Pretty sure that's supposed to be Kid. No, is it? No, I thought it, I think this is your mom. Heck it up. Okay. Oh. Chivo, the awakening. Ah, <sighs> easy cheese. Yeah. Plot cheeves are always the easiest cheeves. Well, it's an easy way to determine whether people even played your game. Yeah. <laughs> It's always weird when I'm looking at like achievements for a game I'm uh, working on, and I l and I'm like, oh, 88 percent have gotten cleared the prologue. All right, Actually, so. what's weird is whenever you see it below like 75 percent. It's like what? I mean, I could start qu uh, looking at tunic stuff and go like, wait, oh, how many people have only gotten this one? Okay, so we're going to start with five tablets, which are consumable healing, and cure plus one. And that's it. Yep. I mean, it's not the worst place to start. We still have some healing. And I know also, I can always remove the heal down to level one and make it a standard cure instead. Uh, and also, you made sure to check underneath bed. I did not. Good check morning, Surge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you young men were still off at Never Neverland. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Oh no. Girls. Oh no. My worst nemesis. Girls. Also, this may be an odd thing to ask, Michael, but can we get a side screen? A side stream, or do so you think your computer's gonna burst and it flames? Uh, I should be able to side stream. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm gonna try and get a side stream running. 
Uh, let's see here. Boop, 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 shoop, doop, 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 boop. Okay. All right. Yeah, this uh, is not my computer where it... Now nah, we don't need to rest right now. Sidestream is turned on, so you should be able to jump in. Yes, thank you. I'm making sure that thank the you. real stream is still good at the moment. I, I'm still in mod view, but it's like sidestream helps a lot. Cat. Cat. This is a cat. cat. This is a cat house, and I accept that answer. This is a cat cafe. We are, we're now at Ubu. Sorry, oh, no. my, my streams are crossing. Oh no, we're crossing the streams. Random kid. Sergi, check out this sawfish. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy caught it down south by the El Nido Triangle. No one likes going down there, though. They say it's, they all say it's creepy, but this sucker sure looks tasty. Mm. El Nido. Yo, Serge, what do you think of this sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? <laughs> it's gotta be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Serge? <laughs> you wish. Yeah, I guess legends are meant to be legends. Yeah, that definitely would have been too good to be true. Oh well, at least I know for sure this one's a biggie. Live an honest life and something good is bound to happen. <laughs> um, okay. R enough random okay. people. Um... We actually do need to talk to somebody. Okay. Who do I need to talk uh, to? They're at the pier, but if we're in here, we can do some stuff that may get us uh, future characters. Okay. Uh, so who should I talk to? What should I do? Oh, the barrel didn't answer me. Uh, that, does I find that? Yeah, if you talk to barrel enough times, kind of thing. Oh. You may get something. What do you want already? I sent him just a barrel. <laughs> oh, fine. Just take him in here. Uplift. That's a wind element, isn't it? That's green, yes. Oh! Oh, rock. no, it's a yellow. rock. It's yellow. Yeah. You lied to me. I. I was like, uplift. Really? <laughs> okay, I'll leave. There we go. Eight. Now my tablets aren't equipped and I have an attack, uh, an attack uh, element. Nope. Oh, I can go up here. Oh, what the hell is that? That's supposed to be a. Oh, God. It's a. It's a cursed chihuahua! Yeah. Uh. And an ivory helmet, ivory. huh? I think if you check the bed there, you may get something. It, it's been a while, because, like, there's a couple of things I know that you can get that will allow you to get characters later? Or sooner, depending on when you grab them. Uh. Hecron Bone. That's what I was thinking of. The Hecron Bone. That will allow you to get a character technically a lot sooner if you didn't know about it. Um, I'm just trying to get you set up on things. Uh, Why, hello, sir. Do you want to know hear the real truth about the world? Insanity leads to chaos and to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how'd you like it, Serge? Were you moved? That also sounds like a poem I would have written back in my DeviantArt days. I've been dreaming <laughs> about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross the continent and make a name for myself with just a pencil and paper. Don't look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this rundown shack. What you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Eh. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just saying how good the work environment is. Yeah, maybe don't piss off the owner when he's standing right there and you're talking shit about his environment, his restaurant. Humana, humana, humana. She sure is pretty. What a knockout that dancer Mickey is. 
The poor town of Termina has its share of dancers, but no one, I say, no one, compares to Mickey. But, mind you, I've never actually seen Mickey dance. Oh, how I would love to see them jiggle. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about her arms, of course. Oh, Serge, don't tell Grandma about this. You old perv. Well, I mean, this was from that era. Jiggling arms, sure. That was the original translation. Hey, Sergi, do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komo uh, Komodo dragon scales. You know, those monsters that eat fire? I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I could beat those monsters. Oh, no. If I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Well, hey, am I in a fix? Okay. Side quest accepted. Yep. Uh, if you go to the house that's behind him, there's another way that we can, I think, set something up to get another character. Alright. The pier's up ahead. Listen, don't be missing with those boats. I'm sure you understand. A boat is like a limb to our fisherman. Pull any stunts like last time, and I'll whack you in the head. Okay, so I'm known for pulling stunts in the village and oversleeping. That's that's good that's good background intel. Hello there, Surge. Word has it that Komodo dragon scales are quite popular among the youngins these days. So you're collecting them too, huh? What, to make a silly little necklace? That's right. <laughs> well said, Surge. You truly are a man of the sea. I don't know why my voice is becoming this now, but this is what the choice I've made. They don't call me a Komodo dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. Clean out your ears and listen well, Serge. This is truly top secret. My super duper secret number one, rock and roll to trap the sucker. My super duper secret number two, use the lay of the land to make a surprise attack. My super duper secret three, there is always one that likes to play tag. Run with all your might. Beware, Komodo dragons are mighty cautious and run at high speeds. You must face them with your wits, courage, and tenacity. Use your lightning start and run like the wind. Whip past them with all your might. Actually, I guess there's no point overtaking them. Anyway, it's all about, anyhow, it's all about guts, my boy. So once you catch up to one, you must fight. Kick that little sucker's butt. But don't get your own butt kicked. <laughs> That's all I can teach you about the ways of an expert. Now go, Surge. Go for the gold and bring forth a brighter tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, that was Bruh. that was a whole fucking thing. Yeah. Uh, in this case, we actually want to go to the basement. But... Okay, well, that's where I was headed. Do you know about Lizard Rock, southwest of the village? I've heard that a mother Komodo dragon comes out every once in a while. I told Kiki numerous times not to play there, but she never listens to me. I guess kids will be kids. I'm guessing this is Kiki. Yeah. Isn't my Celine cute? Daddy found her by Lizard Rock. A lot of baby Komodo dragons play out there. I guess it's kind of like their hangout. Or and do nest. you know what, Sergi? Don't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you, okay? It's a secret. Lolo said he was going to give me some Komodo dragon scales. He, what should I do? Oh no! All right, so now we're going into the basement and talk to the guy, Kitty, and the cat. Oh, uh, hi, Serge. I was lost in my thoughts there. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly. Interdimensional bots. Oh, I lost focus on the wrong window. Hello, Eric. Sometimes I'm just amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations. Generations. 
It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you can say that everything here represents 10 years of my life. Lion sharks, sawfish, eight-horned narwhals, name it. They all they represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future. What if I'd chosen a different path 10 years ago? Then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one would have been better. I just wonder where the other path may have led me. And I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about another you that might have been. Boy, yeah, life sure happen. is complex. Oh, hey, Serge, you want this? Here, take it. It's an amulet I made from a lion shark tooth ten years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. And I got shark tooth. And we're good. Wait, is it not? I thought it's it was a key item. Oh, it's a key item? Uh, it's key item. Do not touch the time shifter! No, what the time shifter does is... Uh, I've actually... Uh, I know. I, I know what it does. It's okay. Just... I, now I want to show it off. Zerb. Actually, I can't because I'm not in combat. Oh, wait, no, I can. <laughs> makes you super fast or super slow. It also makes everything around you super fast or super slow. Yippee! That was quite the splash you made there. Well, actually, no, that was literally no splash. You should be on a professional diving team to enter with zero splash. Oh, it's you, Serge. Beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing off there. By the way, Serge, do you like the sea? Actually, yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great. But just remember, Serge, don't take it too lightly. Usually, you'll find the sea to be vast, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. Once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen, engulfing everything. Close your eyes and prick up your ears. Can you hear the cries of countless men? Jesus, dude! Of countless men swallowed by the sea? The hidden secret the sea whispers? I recommend you learn to sense the mood of the sea. That's if you don't want to join the fellows already on the bottom. And then let's talk to you. You're late, Serge. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo! Sergey, Lena, look at me! Come on, you guys should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha. Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasts in the eternity, filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But now, but the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes. We have to face up to reality and live each day anew. With the jewelry you make me. So, I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. 
Once you've collected some Komodo's dragon scales, I'll catch up with you on at Apasa Beach. Is that okay with you? Sure, no problem. I got this. Good, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay then, don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see, I think three should be enough. Good luck, Serge, I'm counting on you. So I was gonna collect some for the other kid, but it sounds like I've already got my own task on them. Yeah. So, do you want to re uh, recruit a party member, or do you want to go to this... Oh, I can uh, recruit a party member at this point? Yes. Okay, who do I want to talk to? In this case, go left. Through the archway. Oh, through the archway? Past the sawfish? Yes. Okay. This is tutorial area. This is tutorial area? Yes, talk to old man for tutorial. Hi, Serge. I, Ganji, know all and see all. I can tell you all you need to know about using key items. How about it? Sure. Good, good, I'll be happy to. Listen carefully now. When you want to give someone a key item, get within talking distance and press X. That will bring up the item menu. Then, pick the item you wish to hand over and confirm your selection. If all goes well, the person should respond. It's the same procedure when you want to use a key item in a specific location. Just select the item you wish to use. Sorry about that. No worry, no need to worry about making mistakes. The item won't disappear if there's no response. Well, that's about it. Come to me anytime you should have questions, boy. Fa ha 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 ha. No. Fa 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 fa. Okay, so I'm guessing you then. Hello, doggy, doggy. Have a heckin' bone. Ah, is that a heckin' bone? Sir, you put a, a present from for I? How'd you know? Hmm, to accept or not to accept? Ahem, <clears throat> me accept your present and me will shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty milk power X. Me will do it, dirty pool. I'm presuming that's who you were expecting me to talk to next. Yes. Okay. Nailed it. Uh, we're gonna stick to default names. Okay. And now we have Marshall, uh, Marshall, who is yellow uh, in eight. A bone glove. Yeah. Don't ask me how it works. Um, if you talk to the old guy, you get some better explanation of actual combat. Alright, so you start with no elements whatsoever. Hey, it's that dog. <laughs> it's that dog! Or is it the dog? It's... Uh, I mean, I gave it a heck and bone and now it wants to follow me, so... That's dog adjacent, at least. Wait, no, that's the same one I talked to already. This, uh, this old guy? Yes. yes. The guy that looks like he's wearing oh, a coat. Oh, Serge, how goes it? I am incredibly ancient and know everything. How would you like to join everyone for my lecture? Today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and the art of elements. Excellent. A true man you are. Well then, let's get on with it. And me will watch from here, Iraq. Maybe his head steps up right down from his hair. Oh, come on, Serge. Don't hold back. Oh, you don't want me to hold back, huh? Okay, let's do it. First, here's some basic advice on attacking. So listen up, young man. You know the three different attack levels, weak, strong, and fierce. Each have differing accuracy or hit percent values, don't you? Yeah, I saw that. Each time you hit your opponent, each of these values increases, making it easier for your next attack to hit its mark. A good strategy is to start with weak blows, which have the highest chance of succeeding, then build up to strong and fierce blows. 
so rather than attacking willy-nilly, you should aim to build up your hit percentage. If your fierce attacks don't hit home, you're just wasting your energy. Which is the same combo says that always already using, so... Yeah. <laughs> You're not even close! Don't be trusting in your hit percent too much there, boy. As long as it's not 100%, you still run the risk of missing continuously. Sometimes it pays to muster up the courage to use strong and fierce attacks straight from the start, too. Next, let's check out the use of elements. Oh, okay, so I was a turn early. When you use an element, the color of that element's attribute remains on the battlefield in the form of field effect. Each time you consecutively use the same color element, the effectiveness of that colored element group increases. Here, I'll show you. Let's fill up all the field, uh, uh, field effect attributes with the color blue. Try using a blue element after me. I can't use a blue element after you, I just did blue. I... I... Damn it. Don't worry about it. Hey there, hurry up and turn all the field effect attributes blue for crying out loud. Don't you know how to use them elements or something, youngin? If that's the case, then listen up. It takes some explaining. First, you gotta choose a attack to do some physical damage to your opponent in order to get started. Weak, strong, and fierce attack each add one, two, or three points to your element power level. Your current level is the number that appears above the level symbol on your name there. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you, you won't accumulate any power unless you actually succeed in hitting your opponent. So be careful, you can't afford to miss. Discharging this accumulated power is what using the elements is all about. Once you build up some power, you'll be able to choose the element option from the battle menu. When you select the element option, great color rectangular plates appear on the screen, don't they? Those plates are the elements you currently have allocated. So why don't you try using one of those blue elements you have there, boy? Relax, they won't disappear when you use them. You just won't be able to use them again for the rest of the battle, that's all. Once you enter another battle, you'll be able to use them again, so don't hold back now. But even though I say this, I still have to stress that you've got to consider the appropriate time to use your elements. Otherwise, you'll never be able to beat some of the harder enemies you're bound to meet. You've got to form the proper strategy, boy. Oh, but wait, I'm forgetting something important. It must be my old age. There are some elements that disappear in a puff of smoke each time you use them. The Element 1 tablet is just one example. These are cons uh, consumable elements, and they have the symbol times 1 in front of their names. These don't regenerate after each battle. However, the benefit of such consumable elements is that you can allocate up to 5 of them in the same element grid space. Doing so allows you to use several of them in the same battle, unlike basic elements, which can normally which normally can only be used once in any one battle. And that's why consumable elements also have a number such as times five after their names. That's the number you currently hold in that grid position. The number will decrease as the elements are used. However, after each battle, you can restock more to use next time. Anyway, enough about that. More about actually using elements. I'm sure you'll notice that each time you use an element, your element power level, shown, uh, uh, as shown by the level number, will go down. It's just simple subtraction, really. For example, or for instance, say you're currently at level 3 and you decide to use a times 1 tablet allocated at level 1 in your element grid. So in this case, 3 minus 1 leaves 2. So your current element power level will now be changed to level 2. You can use elements any time, as long as your stamina value is above 1.0. So in this case, you'll still be able to use elements with a power level of up to level 2 right after using the, the times 1 tablet element. Did you get the gist of it, Sunny? Now do you see the importance of de developing good battle tactics? You can build up a little power, then use an element, build up a little more power, then use another element. Repeating this over and over, that's okay. Or, you can build up your element power to its maximum level and unleash a barrage of elements one after another. That's no problem either. Use whatever strategy you think will work to defeat each of the enemies you come across, it's up to you. There are hordes of monsters out there that you'll never be able to defeat with physical attacks alone. You're going to need to master elements to get by. Well, sorry for the long lecture there, Sunny. My explanation about elements is now officially over. Why don't you try and use one now? This is why. 
But the problem is, is if he expects me to use an element right now, the only element I have is yellow. Then use it. Oh look, that shrunk a land. See, and, and that was a mistake. Uh, What's this? You still have managed to turn all the field effect attributes blue yet. What, you expect an old man to do everything for you, you slacker? Anyway, here we go. See, the field is completely blue. Any blue elements you use now will surely pack a punch. Here, try this out. Oh, that's gonna sting. Yep. Oh, was that too much for you? Sorry about that, youngin. Conversely, when there's a lot of blue uh, in the field that affect attributes, almost the opposite color red will be weakened. So try and discern your enemy's attack, your enemy's attack pattern, and fill the field with the opposite color of its attacks as a form of defense. This strategy of using elements is sure to come in handy. So put it to good use, Sonny. You're still lecturing me while I'm dead. Jerk. Um, I guess back to attacking. I can't heal. Ho ho ho! How was that? You learned something there, boy? Anyway, I guess it's time to bring this lesson to an end. Here you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He was holding back earlier. Yeah, this old man is... Very dangerous. Pooped already, huh? And you're still so young. Oh well. Don't let it get you down. Come again anytime, Sonny. <coughs> uh, I think he just healed me. Okay, good. Thought I heard the telltale sound of being healed. I did everything just as Chief Radius told me. And now the aches in my body are completely gone. What a fine man our Chief is. Skilled, competent, caring. I heard he was quite a warrior in his prime. You could learn much from our chief and grow up to be a great man like Radius. The record of fate tells me not to go out to sea today. That's why I'm here for the chief's lecture. Go against the record of fate, you'll regret it for sure. Days like this, it's best to take it easy. We should all live in harmony with fate. And you know that I stole your dog. It's boring playing alone. Come on, Pasha, let's play. Me and Bari. I'm a bit busy right now. We'll play later, okay? How boring. Alright, so I'm guessing nothing to do in the Chief's house. Actually, no, there's probably loot in here. I think there's something to loot in there, yeah. you, Serge. I think the chief is outside. He said he was going to teach some self-defense. He might be old, but he still has some fight left in him. Your kids better not misbehave, or else the chief will have to crack down on you all. I'm not seeing any anything that I would consider lootable, but it's not like there's, like, chests or anything. Yeah. I tried looting around the walls, and I didn't find anything. Anyways, now that I've got a companion and know a little bit more about combat, I'm presuming it's a good time to go get some scales. Yes. Uh, the only problem is, where do I go? Oh no, it's over here, duh.
Oh. My, I'm powerful. Yes, Sergi Poo. Sergi Poo. Beach bum. They both gained an HP. Max heal. Uh, humor and fang. Those will be used for crafting. Okay, so how do you see. No. Those will be done at save points. How do you see those, though? Uh, oh, I found fireball. Yay. I'm trying to remember how you see them. Gave the yellow guy the yellow spell. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Yeah. Nope, I lost him. Oh, I see what I need to do. It reset that? Yes. God damn it. Okay, fine, let's try this then. Nope, that doesn't work either. No, I can't push it a second time once I get it there. Set that really quick. So it's standing there, the boulder's there. If I approach from the right, it'll go north. If you don't go through it, if I go, it has no, that's what I'm saying. If I approach from the right, it'll go north. If I approach yeah. from the tunnel, it'll go south. So, I this is gonna be a weird thing, but approach from the right, don't go through the tunnel yet. Oh, okay. Because if you listen to it, it does two whoosh sounds. So then I block it, then I go up, and it tries to go down again. Yes. And corners itself. That's cool.
That's a good point. Good point throwing rocks. I got a couple of bones. Yep. And I got one scale for that fight. Yep. So there's gonna be two more of these fights. And I'm guessing each time I have to trick it into somewhere. Yeah. Or some of them are you just did. Yeah, some of them you just kind of run them down. Oh, this is a run them down one. Yeah. I'm just slightly faster. a bone, and my second scale. Now the other thing though is I'm trying to figure out how to get down into the watery area because I definitely see what well, appears to be a chest down there. Mm, possibly not from this angle. Well, it looks like I, I have to come from wherever this cave is. Well, there's also that one right there, which you may be able to get. Wait, where? Okay. Make it, uh, at the 10 o'clock position, just head 10 o'clock. No, there, okay. there's a drop. There's a, there's a lower level for that, okay. too. Let's come out this way. Nope, that's nope. the wrong answer. Not there yet. Guide, hold up. Another humor and another tablet. Yeah, it's definitely not from here. Oh, so, there it, it is. Uh, there, there was a little ladder, ladder carved into the uh, face of one of the cliff sides. A little bit of uh, stepping stones. Yeah.
Also, partial is not one of the ones that will lock you out of uh, a different character. There are some that will! Well, I'm glad to hear that, considering we've already chosen partial. Yeah. Wait, yeah. That, that looked like a different tablet. That's blue, I believe? No, it was just nope. tablet. It, it's tablet. I've got a decent collection of them coming up. Also, I see that, Eric. I see you playing Rise. I don't know if you're actually <laughs> still here while I see that, but I see that. Uh, have you tried going up the water? I don't think I did, but also they look like... They don't look like the type of things that can go up. Okay. No, it cannot go up that. Okay. So there's some place that we'd have to go to that would bring us up there. Uh, I mean, the only other place to go... Wait. Okay, no. The only other place to go is down this path. Let's go ahead and clear the frog boys out first. And yes, I know it's Beach Bum, but... They look vaguely frog-like. And also vaguely fish-like. Ah, I have found where it goes. You're not gonna like it, though. I'm nervous about the fact you said I wouldn't like it. We've already found where it is. Well then, I guess after this battle we're gonna have to go mess around with it. So where... First of all, I'm going to knock this over. Yep. Just let it slowly rise. A silver loop. Loop spelled that, like I I'm, think I think that's like a like a monocle. Uh, Hit or rate. a so yeah, it's got to be. Oh, there you go. That's where you can find it. They're listed under accessories for some reason. Even though that you can't equip them, but they tell you what they're for, which is oh hey look three are for three are tempering materials and one's a forging material, a base material. Base material. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll take the hit rate egg boost. That loop sounds more like like something that goes around the neck. No, 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 but no. That spelling, L-O-U-P-E, is, it is like, it, it's not like a monocle. It's like a, um, I want to say it's like a jewel crafter's, you know, the little, uh, they stick at their eye to, like, get a magnify. Oh, the, uh, the, the magnifying yeah, yeah, yeah. monocle? Okay, so... In order to go, uh, do you want to take care of this one, which... Well, I just discovered something new. Let's deal with that first. Deal with that boy. That boy. Ooh, that was a crit. In any game, that's a crit. Okay. Nice big crunchy noise. Ooh, that was another crit. I am vaguely nervous about the fact that auto heal keeps healing Surge and not Poshal when Poshal has more damage. Uh. That, I think, is a carryover from the original. 
where it heals your main character because if I recall correctly, if Surge dies. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Surge dies gets game over. Yes. And... Well, now I know how to get here. After this fight, I'll we'll back we'll go back around. Yeah. I think this leads to a uh it leads us right back to where we were. Yeah, but, but I think it brings us to a chest. No, no it doesn't. I don't think oh. so. I didn't see oh. one up there. Oh it's it is needed. It is needed, but not for what you think it is. This time it looks like Potion Gift should get healed. Surge! Ooh, strength and match ups. Nice. And Potion got a resistance up. And there we go. This will allow us to get the drop on the Komodo. Oh. So I wait for it to come back around and then drop down directly on its face? Yeah. Ah, okay. Hold. Damn it, my timing was off. Okay. Okay, so I need to I need to lead the target by a couple seconds. Yep. It takes a couple seconds to actually drop. Bingo. We like our crits in this house. And now for the fun bit. Oh god, that's a mama. That's a mama. That's Mama Komodo. I mean, now would probably be a good time to use elements on. Yeah, I was thinking, if nothing else, I want to knock that blue out. Ooh, yellow. Uh, it is innately blue, which means your fireball will do some damage. Gotcha! I didn't even take that much damage. Oh! Good thing we had partial. Ooh! Received a star, reached a new growth level. This is how you actually gain more slots for... By beating bosses? By beating tough enemies slash bosses, yes. Uh, HP, Strength, and Magic, and Resistance for Poshal. And yes, let's go ahead and top off Foam, Feather, and Fang. And we now have all three. Poshishu! We now have three 
uh, to become Otis Tails. Let's get moving to up past the beach and wait for Lena. So, to get to that area, before you re-exit, uh, so you want to go left. Back up here. Back up there. So, make a circuit until you get, uh, so. Until when? Just over this one. And then keep going a little bit left. Where that uh, beach bum is going. Follow the beach bum. Smack him. Nope. Is that that super narrow looking channel that's right directly to the right of me? No. Oh, okay. This is annoying because, well, welcome to PlayStation era graphics, so you don't easily recognize it. Even though this has been quotations touched up. Still annoying because it doesn't exactly show it right. Okay. So, on that island, that large patch of grass with the dark stain for this the base one? of it. Yeah, search it. Because it's. Oh my god. It's a hole. Fuck you, game. <laughs> it's not a patch of grass, it's a hole. It's a patch of grass with a hole in the center. Yes. Also, I'd like to point out for the record, since both that and this are Squeenix properties, God damn you, Squeenix, because that was a fucking Gideus trick. And I should have uh, known. Which one? Bob Fassie 11. Oh. Gideus is the Yagudo area. Uh, they And they're in order to get to, like, two-thirds of it, you have to drop through holes that are hidden in various bushes. Ooh. HP and strength for surge. Ooh, potion. Two HP, strength, resistance, and magic. Potion's not that good at magic, though. I, you know, a win's a win. Yeah. Um, so first thing, actually, I ma almost made a mistake. Steps Don't to this through. chest. Yeah. I found an, I found at bone. At bone on Twitter. And I found an ivory helmet. Yeah, which, since I'm already wearing one, I will try and give one to Poshal. Okay, it's not super effective, but you know, it's it's an improvement. Any improvement at this stage is pretty okay. Yeah. And to get out of here, drop down. Drop down. I think drop, drop down, down the or, other side. or go back through the hole? You can't go back through the hole. The hole is can you? Oh, you can go back down the What the fuck? Oh, PlayStation Air Games. No, it wasn't grass at all. I see it now. That's like the earth, like the striations of the earth falling into it. Ah. Uh, God damn it. Fucking I PlayStation think we've Air got it, uh, I think we've gotten everything. Well, there's more okay. south further. Okay. Because this is the area where that bitch was. But there's another... Oh, 
not there. There's another path there. Hi, Beach Bum. Bye, Beach Bum. Hi, Bum. Oh, bum. that leads back here. Yeah. Um, but I think there was also one to the southwest on this map. Hi, Bum. Bye, Bum. Oh, no, I guess that was a dead... Oh, wait. No, that was That led end. to that chest that was there, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, There's I guess it's time here. to move on, then. Yep. Man, if the game's all like this, it's going to be... God damn it, having to do another fucking circuit. If the game's gonna be all like this, I'm really glad that you're on guide duty. I'm going to see if I can find a scan of Prima Guide, because that had better than ASCII graphs that, uh... Uh, no offense to game facts. They're great, and they've pulled me through so many games. But... There are some things that I like a physical game guide for, and that's quite literally... actual views of the layouts. Of dungeons. Yeah, no, I definitely get that. If you can find it. Speaking of finding things, I want to find a save point. Uh, you can save on the world map. No, no, no. The, um, you mentioned being able to craft only at save points. Not yet. Oh, okay. I was gonna. I was hoping I could play around with that. And yeah, there's an auto save feature apparently. Yeah. The calling from beyond time. Oh hey, I found one online. Nice. Opossa Beach. If I remember right, this is when everything changes. Oh yeah, no, this is the beach, all right. This is where everything changes. There you are! Sorry I'm late. Hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. Posha? I didn't expect to see you here, so this is where you went off to. Wee! Lena's here! How are you doing? Oh my god, that's exactly, that's the voice I want to give Poshal. Oh, are you doing a day? Sorry, me think me should weave you to a run. Oh, please. <laughs> or, oh, please. Don't be silly. <laughs> well, how did it go? Did you get the Komodo dragon scales? Yep, here you go. Three of them. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Serge. And you too, Poshal. <clears throat> no problem. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come so often. The scene never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without a single change. Hey, Serge, remember that time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves? If you're going back to the fact of childhood friends and reminiscing about that this early into the game, you're about to die, madam. You might want to clamp down on that. Well, the she, two she, of us talking. she's just saying surge up to die. Do you still remember that day? Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't get a flashback of that. I don't remember. 
then I guess you forgot about the promise we made. Well, I guess it can't be helped. We were so young. On top of that, you almost drowned back then. It was a traumatic time for you. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for the right moment. Like now, when the blackness appears from the ground. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own, and a nice house with two and a half kids and a picket fence and potion as our pet. When that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. Dead. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what I'll make of this day. Um, I'm going to be a cynical asshole. We'll forget it eventually. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But that would be really sad, wouldn't it? Um... Search, there's something I've been wanting to search. Search. What? What's wrong, Search? Search? Welcome to FMV land, I think, finally. No? Yep, there it is. Oh, by the way, because we answered that way, we're not going to get Lena's 7 tech if we recruit her. Sorry, what's that? Uh, her 7th level uh, tech. Oh. Oops. It? Well, that's if we recruit her. Well, I mean, I guess I don't have any, per cho any reason to recruit her then. If we're not getting her 7th level tech. Hold me, whatever lies beyond this morning. I'm brum, sorry. Brum, brum. I'm sorry, it's... It's a little later off. Well, Surge just had his uh, epiphany. Just sucked straight out of his butthole. His entire existence will suck straight out of his butthole and into another <laughs> universe. What are you doing here, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. Oh, that was an old man. You all right, boy? What on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body, washed ashore. Um, did you see where Lena and Poshal went? Huh? Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Sergey Poo, you're finally up. Something went whoosh, and I was and me without cold too. Me woke up first, so so me went to look around, but no sign of Lena anywhere. Do you think Lena spontaneously combusted? Me wonder if she's okay. Spontaneously combusted. Spontaneously combusted. Spontaneously combusted. Uh, nothing else of interest here, I don't think. Nope. Nothing behind the rocks. Damn. Do you impossible? Alright, time to go back through Lizard Rock to the town. Um, hello? Those aren't beach bombs. No, they're not. Hello? Have you seen a girl come through here recently? Blah 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 blah. Is that a yes or a no? Blah blah. 
Zub Club. Zub Zub? Swim, swim, hungry. I'm glad I didn't lose Potial. I'm glad that I wasn't like just a temporary uh, companion. Because I gave Potial some stuff and I don't want to lose it. Oh god. That fish knows Fireball. That's a fiery fish. Poke. Opa fish. Opa, Opa. Fish style? Opa Gundam, uh, Opa Gundam fish. Pashal got revenge by poking the fish in the jaw. No, 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 no. It's you know what Opa. Opa means in Korean, right? Uh, I actually don't. Okay. It essentially means, like, big brother. Ah. Oh, no! No, it's coming from my butthole! <laughs> Just trying to give me a Taco Bell-style treat. Spicy butthole. The Taco Bell special. <laughs> Try spicy butthole. Have you seen the label as Squish Squish? Uh, no. Sand Squirt. Sand Squirt, okay. I, I don't know how I read Squish Squish. I that. don't either, because that's nothing at all like what it actually says. It might have been semi artifacting. Or I was an ad, or I'm going even more blind. Let's go with that. That's the answer that doesn't mean my my computer's having a hard time keeping up with the info. So let's go with that. No, the artifacting could have been just something from the internet. Scale and bone. No, it's still after me. Don't think there's any new chests here. Oh wait, no, there was. The one on the island is uh, is uh, full again. Yeah, you know how to get to that one? Yeah, I remember cool. how to get to that one. ground but whole feather and that was bone first mm -hmm. well the fact that the other one is missing tells me they could be in different positions than they were previously so it's worth my while to check other areas this was the sunken one but now it's just sitting there on the beach with the fish guarding it the firefish. When the firefish attacked. Yeah, everything changed when the firefish attacked. I'm glad that this game does use critical stances for enemies. Because I've noticed that when I, I get them weak, they go to kind of like an exhausted, droopy state. Yeah. Things in scale, and the chest has bone. Bone. Oof. Wait. They're not quite so guarded in this 
time around. I was just kind of wandering around, like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah, they're like, eh? Huh? What are you doing? So I didn't realize just how crowded this battlefield was. One of the two was kind of hidden off to the side of the camera. Another ivory helmet. No, I don't care about you. Okay, it's still nothing back there. brings you to this quiet seaside village. There isn't much excitement here, but please relax and stay a while. Hey, hey, stranger. Do you know what's popular around the, among the village girls these days? Bracelets made from rainbow shells. I want to get some from Key for Kiki, but those shells are hard, so hard to find. 
Oh no, if I don't do something about this, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Oi, am I in a fix? Okay. So, I'm a stranger, and now suddenly he needs rainbow shells. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. I mean, Pushel. Oh, hey! that That's, uh... Humana, humana, humana. What a hump. This year it's Nikki from the Magical Dreamers. As luck would have it, Nikki's holding a concert in the port town of Termina. There is a heaven on Earth. It pays to live to an old age. I can't believe I'm actually going to be able to hear Nikki's beautiful voice. Whoa, stranger, don't tell Gramps about this. I think I just gave Grandma a very deep uh, a pack a day of habit. But, you know. More likely than you think. <laughs> Yo, stranger, have you heard anything about the group of thieves up on the mainland? Thieves? No, I haven't. You haven't heard, huh? Where are you from, stranger? It's pretty big news, even down here in El Nido. Those mysterious thieves have broken into a bunch of houses up on the mainland. They're cold-blooded bastards. They'll go to any extreme to get money or jewels. Even the powerful nation of Pore can't seem to get a hold of them. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. Wouldn't want to run into those bandits. I mean, at least the cats still meow normally. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Are you from Termina? So how's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival. It's where they where they grab live vipers and shove them in their mouths. What? My poems? What are you talking about? I gave up on them ages ago. It was just a stupid dream I was obsessed with. I never did have any talent. But how do you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It really doesn't matter anymore whether I'm writing poems or not. Nobody would give a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? But just remember, dreams do come true. Hm. Do you honestly believe that? Oh wait, was that supposed to be Serge's voice? No. Oh, no, no, that was that was the shopkeeper. Yeah. Do you honestly believe that? If we live in the middle of nowhere, in this tiny village, leading small lives, nothing's ever going to change, no matter how hard you try. That's just the reality of it all. <sighs> well, the barrel's not there anymore. No, but there's a pot here. No answer, it's just a pot. No this one won't change. No answer. It's just a pot. Unless what do you I... want already? I said I'm just a pot. Fine. Just take it, man. Here. Ice lanes. I'm sorry. That what was that? Good. What What were you saying previously, sir? <laughs> I thought, like, that one was, like, the 40 one. Ice rings. What? You know, just to be, just to say I did, I'm gonna go ahead and have them on me, just in case of emergencies. I don't like using uh, stuff like that, but it, it's good to have in case of emergencies. And did you go into the back room? Uh, I could figure out. Oh, dur. I forgot it's up here. I was looking. That's why I was running around the circle lower. Oh, hello. I got another tablet. Yeah, tablet. It's empty. And cat. Yeah, I was trying to pet the cat. Always pet cats. Yeah. So, do you want another character that you can recruit? Um, how many characters can you have in your party at once? Three. Three? So if I get them, they'll they'll be with me until I get to Terminator, in other words. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, I'm sure. Who do I go to? Okay, you remember where we went to talk to that guy that was like, I spent my entire life fishing. Oh, yeah, yeah, the dock. Yeah, that guy. No, not the dock. Not the dock. The one the guy in the basement. The... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
The ten years guy. Yeah. I can't comprehend my son anymore. He hasn't worked in years. There was a time when he had his heart set on becoming a man of the sea, just like his old man. But look at him now, praying to that silly looking doll day and night. What has gotten into him? Uh, and he's not going to block anyone else, right? No, he's the, this one will not block anyone else. Okay. The music in here is very interesting. Oh. Seems to be what? Talk to Just a straw doll. Talk to him! Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Can you, can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays and our uncertain tomorrows. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item, filled with prayers, protects and supports us. Come, my brother. Let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. What the fuck cult did I just sign up for? Where can you find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo. Uh, so, remember that pendant you got from him? Oh yeah, the shark tooth. Yeah, show it to him. Not Mojo, the other guy. The Oh, hey, he's standing on a Triforce. Oh, no. This is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark. And look at the size of this thing. Judging from this size, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. Uh, no, actually, technically you are. What? What did you say? Another me? So the other me, who became a fisherman, asked you to give this to me? Well, I mean, no, not really. He just said he didn't need it. What are you talking about? That's enough. There's only there can there's only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure. There was a point in my life when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good ten years ago. But I couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I chose, and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, would you please put that thing away and leave me alone? I'm missing talk to him again? Uh, I believe talk to him again. Let's I have nothing see. more to say. Now, please leave. Maybe talk to Mojo? Yeah. No answer. Just a straw doll. At this point, I think it's leave. Ten years ago, my husband's friend lost a son. The boy drowned at sea at the tender age of seven. And oh. soon after, the boy's parents passed away too. Such a sad oh. turn of events. That's what my We forgot changed. to get somebody. Never did I imagine he would end up like this. His way of life has changed completely. What do who we forget? There was another person that we could recruit. Oh, okay. and we pa uh, yeah, and we need them to recruit uh, Mojo. Okay, so we I'm guessing we can't do it then? Not unless we recruit them. Uh, are they here in this village, or...? You pass them on the way to the village. I pass them on the way to the village? Cape Howell. Oh, Cape Howell. Okay, fine, let's go to Cape Howell real quick. Come on. Blast me up there. I know you want to. They're not going to blast you up there. Oh. Oh. 
Electro Jolt. Uh, I think... Yeah, it's weird. Yellow is both Earth and Lightning. Well, technically, Lightning does come from the Earth, if you actually know science. Yeah. I mean, it's not wrong, yeah. And I found at bone. I'm very curious why they decide to use the at symbol for that. It doesn't make yeah. sense to my brain. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, you're a pine tree. A very, very small pine tree. Oh no, it's a tombstone. Are you sure I'm supposed to find someone here? I guess because we went to the village, it uh, kicked us out from getting it. Oh, shit. Well, then, I guess we're yeah. not getting them or Mojo. Oops. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll get her later. Was it but supposed we'll to be Kid? Out. It was supposed to be Kid, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we also missed out on our first appearance of our good buddies. Our good we'll buddies. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet them again. I'm just derping right now, don't mind me. Yeah. Uh, at any rate, I'm probably supposed to go talk to her since she's babysitting kids. Yeah. So I can get the shock that, oh god. Be. Oh, oh wait. Uh, maybe I'm misreading stuff. Sometimes Lena, I thought this is where you were. How could you just leave us and go back on your own? Uh, go back? On my own? What are you talking about, Poshal? And who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Poshal? What are you saying, Lena? Hey, yeah, you. Don't be trying to pull any moves on our Lena, you jerk. Don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. I think I gave him more of a snot nose brat uh, voice last time, but okay. Kids. I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. Hmm. You know... You look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. Until he drowned. What happened to him? What happened to him? Why do you want to know? It's really none of your business. I must know my death. That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. soon after his mother passed away too I was still very young back then so I don't remember too well but my mom says his name was Serge yep obviously Serge I'm Serge <gasps> you're Serge oh, stop that that's not even funny the boy is dead don't you understand that boy I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what it would have become of us. <sighs> sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Surge is going to come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on lost loved ones. You can find his grave up on Ka Kai Pole. How? Okay. Actually, why, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up on you like that. Goodbye, stranger. 
I guess I misread it, because it looks like we're supposed to talk to Lena, then go to Cape Hell, then come back, and then get, uh... Okay. I was gonna say, because I know you can't miss, um, I know you can't miss Kid. Kid is a mandatory character. Yeah. Well, this part, like, you can actually just not recruit her. Oh, and now she'll, it's evening. She'll force her way into the party sooner or later. Oh man, it's sunset. Yep. There's some writing on the tombstone. R.I.P. Our beloved Surge died at age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. That put Surge at 17. Yep. Uh, so you must be the ghost of the boy who died 10 years ago, Surge. Cutscene. Oh. oh my god! No! Asshole puppy kicker! Sorry, Junior, but we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But, Sir Karsh, do you really think it's true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly young, uh, perfect young boy to me. Perfectly... Perfectly perfect? That's a weird phrasing. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here, just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him. Our good buddies. I'll just see horses. Hey, kid. Who the? They kick Marshall off the cliff. Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Shut your trap. You're the ones that better get out of the way. You have a problem? You have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe of mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? That kick your sorry ass is so hard they kiss the moons. Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. I would have given Karsh a much more, like, harsher tone. Well, I mean,. I don't know the character that well yet, but... But meet Sultan Salt and, and Pepper! I'm sorry, you mean... Uh, did you did you mean Biggs and Wedge? No, Salt and Pepper, because the third one is Catch Up. Oh, damn, you can't even hit, huh? That was weird. His little shoulder charge was Electric Element. Well, uh, Salt and Pepper are both yellow, I believe. Because they're cowards. Sir, his innately innate element color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute color, black. How unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You should always carry elements of every color. Then how about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, Sir Carr, show us how it's done. <sighs> Useless fools. Uh, real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. Let me guess, you don't have any black Ooh. magic either, huh? Nobody has black magic, which means Surge is actually pretty good, uh, pretty decent in this fight. If we had green, we'd actually be dealing some pretty dangerous damage to them. Alright. 
Tell me you've got... Pure red. Oh, wait. Karsh is green. Yeah, Karsh is green. So, if you cast yellow on him, you actually do more damage. Yeah, well, guess who has all my yellow? Oh. No, our puppy! And don't worry, Salt is just salty that he got uh, KO'd so easily. can just do, uh, defend. I will have to keep that in mind. Got another star. Yep. HP five, strength one. HP six, magic res one. Also, her name's not girl. Her name's kid. Get it right, game. Yes, I know she's not injured. Bone axe. Ivory vest. Ivory helmet. Sir Kosh, I say we shake it on out of here so we can live to fight another day. These aren't any or no ordinary brats we're dealing with. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Oh, I'm so scared. I'll be honest to save you on any time. Think I'll lose a scum like you, huh? <laughs> you alright, mate? Serge. Your name's Serge, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... Kid. Call me Kid. Nice to meet ya. Just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. That just pissed me the bloody hell off. Wish could have beat on some more. But what was that mob after ya? What do you mean you never even met him before, huh? Ah, forget it. Oh. I feel like my Australian accent's getting slightly better as we're going through this. <laughs> we'll, we'll have I mean, it good doesn't, accents. It, it doesn't hurt that uh, I watch No Pixel Streamers, and two of the biggest ones that I watch uh, are, are two of the ones I, lo I love watching are both uh, Australian, so. <laughs> hey, Serge, how about you and me team up for a while? That car shell ain't just gonna leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. <laughs> so about it, Serge. Maybe it was fate that we met up like this. Yeah, okay, you can come along. Beauty, mate. I decided to then. We're best mates now. Anyways, hope you're getting dark soon. 
I suggest we head for Ani and check up for the night. Oh, and Sedge. Don't go trying any funny stuff, just tell them keep and all. Time to go rescue our dog from the cliff. Oh no, our dog magically appeared with us here in town. Oi, let's get our asses down to Temina. Oh, shoo shoo! Fluff be the head! Oh, yeah, mate. I nearly forgot. Let me give you this. It's a teleporter. You'll be able to switch your party members from afar. Real handy gadget. All you have to do is. Uh, it's a pain in the ass to explain. Look it up in the menu. My immersion! How teleporter. dare you! How dare you! Minus one RP, kid. Okay, so that's why we had to get her uh, kid first. It's because of the fact that she ca uh, she had the teleporter. Uh, ivory vest. I think the vest is actually... Worse? I think it gives you better evasion, but... It's actually hard for me to understand what's going on here. Okay, blue is down... Oh yeah, no, there it is. Oh. I see it now. I was trying to. I was. I thought it was replacing the box of the information I was looking for. I didn't realize it was directly below the box I was looking at. Yeah. God, I'm blind. Okay, so yeah, it better evasion, but worse defense and magic defense. Um. Yeah, I'll hold off on that for now. Uh, no one can use this bone axe. Which means I don't know who belongs to, but I haven't gotten them yet. And I can give her an ivory helmet, because I got enough for everyone, and then still one more. Also, my yep. fangs are almost... My fangs are, are 22. Trust me, you'll be... What are you doing here, man? This is my island. Well, I'll let you rest for here for a little while, man. So you want to rest, man? Man. Man. So let's go rescue... Oh. Uh, let's... That's not what I meant to do. I'm just poking around and I end up climbing, closing the blinds. Man! Huh? Who the. What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, right? Go play outside. Hmm? Who are you, Mither? This is Thirty Poo's house, isn't it? Where's Mama Thirty Poo? Huh? Who? Marge? Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. For five years? Is that true, Mister? Pussy? This is really, really weird. Whatever with well, all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. God, people are so rude. Well, I mean... You'd be rude if you if if you were walking into your house and there was some rando uh, kids walking out of your bedroom. So let's go grab the uh, mojo. Mojo, mojo, jojo. Mojo. 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 Technically, they mojo. modified his name from Japanese. In the original Japanese, it was Mojo Jojo. No, it was Mojoy. Right, I'll let's explain talk to you the first. cult. Oh. Oh, wait, no. Dang it. We already did all that. I don't need to go through this whole thing again. I don't need to repeat the whole thing. Thank you. Alright, now take the shark tooth. That's all the same, that's all the same. No, you caught it. The other uh, me, uh, no. Uh, Technically, I mean, he gave it to me because he didn't need it. There's only one you, sure. You thought about it ten years ago, you couldn't do it. Now go talk to him. Not him. Yeah, yeah. Him on the altar. No answers, draw. Straw doll. No answer, straw doll. No answer, straw doll. Huh. Let's see here. 
Nothing more to say. Please leave. No answer, Straw Doll. No answer, ah, Straw Doll. Leave. What? Try leaving now. Leave Try now? leaving now. Leave now. Look him. Hold on a second there. What was that? Love is always in the air. It's just that nobody notices. Y your mojo? I am Mojo, and I bring good fortune. Mm. Look him. Th this can't be happening. How in the... I said some kind of purpose. Seems like fun, so I will join you. Wait a second. There's nothing droll about me. Just a word of advice. Stop running and come face to face with your life. <laughs> a messenger of love and courage I am. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, by the way, Mojo is black innate. Ooh. And sadly, no, he's not Axe. He is, I believe, Sword. Because that's what stabbed through him. Technically, technically yes. That's he what uses stabbed through him. Sword in his, from, he pulls the sword out of his chest. The nail is the sword, technically. Wait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh. you have to find him in the lit. You can oh. unequip other people. Stop it. Oh, okay. No, I thought I thought it was still scrolling. I it, I didn't realize that it stopped moving and went with Mosho's name for a second. I thought I was still scrolling. I'm like, oh my god, this is a long list. Well, it is a long list. There's supposed to be 40 characters here. And, you only and have no, that's four? not a spoiler. That's one of the selling points that they sold this game on. Okay, well, I can go ahead and unequip that. Uh, also, two hours, if that means anything. Uh, it does. Yeah, we're a little... I will be stopping momentarily. I just want to go ahead and... Remove all! Oh, yeah. There you go. And then I can go ahead and give those to Mojo Jojo. Yep. Since I don't have any black magic for him yet. Yet. All right. Just make uh, uh, check his armor. I'd probably say. Yeah, no. We never so really check. Oh, he's a glove user. I thought it was a sword. I didn't realize I somehow accidentally triggered on slow mo. But yeah. But yeah, uh, we're gonna get out and save. Oh, that's actually a nail. Yes. He's supposed to be one of those cursed dolls from Japan. Yay. Except he's a good luck cursed doll. That's kind of a joke. <laughs> he's cursed with eternal good luck. Yes. And yet he's still black and day, which is the fun thing. And we now have two stars. Yep. All right, so that was tonight's stream. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, we will be back. Um, actually, have we decided yet on tomorrow? I believe tomorrow was going to be a paint stream. Uh, because he was not going to be in next week. Yeah, I think that was the decision was probably 14. Try and get us ready for 6.2, which is coming up very soon. Uh, so, But of course, uh, to be sure whether or not what we're doing tomorrow, you can always uh, very much join us back here, or you can uh, subscribe here, 
and make sure your notifications are on and then you'll get a notification when we go live be that tomorrow be that whenever yep um beyond that uh next wednesday we are going to be back with elden ring next friday we'll be back with more chrono cross um next saturday probably i will try and do a tunic stream so more of that not tomorrow but uh upcoming saturday mm -hmm. uh in the meantime if you want to check our archives on any of our games be that yeah uh, be that um not chrono cross obviously since tonight was episode one uh but be that you know when we played tunic when we played elden ring when we played 14 uh when we played Ligaya, which we just finished any any and all yep. of those are available on our youtube channel we have archives for all of that um also we have our social medias of facebook twitter instagram uh there is no tiktok don't ask there will never be one um beyond that that's pretty much it for tonight uh anything else anyone wants to add mm, no nope all right well in that case uh have a good night everyone be safe and we'll catch you next time bye, bye.